uh, Professor, I think uh, uh, maybe must uh, the next uh, next uh, speaker. Uh, 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 now, I test. Uh, yeah, Professor Tanaka, are you online now? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is exchange. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, now yeah. I'm preparing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, it's okay. your turn now. Uh, now let, uh, I have no uh, more information of you. It, uh, we, the, the committee just sent me a message. Dr. Ta Tanaka is a specially appointed assistant professor at the National Institute of Natural Science Exploratory Research Center on Life and Living Systems. She got the bachelor, master, and PhD degree in Tokyo University in 2010, 2012, and 2015. Now let's uh, let's see your let you can give us the lecture at first, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> the interviews. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to have this opportunity to talk today. I'd like to thank uh, Professor Senkoba for inviting me to this wonderful conference for uh, discussing my research uh, every time and uh, for thank you for uh, everything. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, let's start. Thank you. I just, yeah, I'm Sai Tanaka from the Keio University and the National Institute of the National Science, Japan. Today, I like to talk about the spectra of the glucose solution, especially focusing on the animal structure. Sugar is essential for living organisms. Uh, it gives us not only sweetness, but also uh, energy to work. In particular, glucose is the most abundant sugar molecule in living organisms and in the world. It can bind each other to make polymer for energy stock or plant cell wall, or bind other molecules like protein and work as molecule recognition part. Uh, in living organisms, glucose is uh, used in various homes in everywhere, sorry. Glucose consists of six organs, 12 hydrogen and six oxygen. When you simply imagine glucose aqueous solution, the picture is like this, but the sugar solution is not simple. In the fact, uh, glucose has two isomers, they are called anomers. In aqueous solution, the ratio of anomer is four to six, and their intermediate open chain is rare, so rare. Although they are mainly different on the direction of only CH1 and OH on the uh, C1 carbon structurally, they have some mechanical and biological difference depending on the structure. Uh, in solid and gas phase state, alpha glucose is major. Oh, sorry, glucose is major. On the other hand, in aqueous solution, on the contrary, uh, beta glucose is major. Uh, it means that when you get a bottle of glucose powder, they are, they are alpha glucose of more than 19%. But if you prepare their alpha solution for experiments, they change it to the mixture of glucose animals. Uh, it's considered uh, because hydrogen bond between glucose and water molecules are formed around the glucose molecule. Uh, glucose animals also have difference on biological property. Alpha glucose is usually used selectively in their cellular system. In addition, uh, there are enzymes that promote uh, anomalic change and their role is probably to control the proportion of anomers. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, biological system 
uh, recognize the glucose anomalous rupture. Uh, and I guess uh, also spectroscopy is possible to distinguish them. Uh, unfortunately, however, I found many studies on glucose or other sugar neglected the existence of the anomalies. The researchers uh, regarded the glucose solution as a binary system, but I will uh, show today uh, glucose near infrared spectra contain the structural difference between anomalies. Uh, first of all, I got pure powder of both anomers and uh, measure uh, both solution at the concentration from uh, 25 to 200 millimolar. Uh, glucose anomers are equilibrating with time and it needs to measure immediately after dissolving. I show here the different spectra between alpha and beta glucose of each concentration. Uh, it was just a subtracted spectrum of the data. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's KI. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. So there. Uh, where I am? <laughs> uh, there, yes, 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 yeah, and, and now I show the different spectra. Uh, it just uh, subtracted the spectrum of beta glucose solution from alpha glucose. You can see the concentration dependency on the uh, absorbance at 1742. Uh, although other band around uh, 1400 nanometer uh, are affected by high advanced uh, absorbance of the solvent water. Next, uh, in order to analyze these difference statistically, I performed the PLS regression analysis uh, with concentration for each animal respectively. The blue line is the regression vector of alpha glucose. The orange line is that of beta glucose, and the black line is the difference between them. You can see there, there is a peak at uh, 7042 again, and uh, beta glucose has no peak here. Uh, this wavelength uh, is related with glucose anima and possibly important to distinguish glucose anima structure. Next, uh, for detailed analysis, I measure the specific uh, rotation and the near infrared spectra simultaneously. Uh, chemical has a character uh, characteristic values of the specific rotation. Alpha glucose show 122. Uh, beta glucose is 19, and the equilibrating solution of glucose is 15.5. As shown in the light panel, uh, glucose solution is equilibrating in about three hours when the solution was prepared with pure alpha glucose. When you see the proportion of anima in the solution at the time by measurement of the optical uh, specific rotation. First, I measured uh, each animal solution with time using parameter and uh, near infrared spectroscopy. Uh, this is uh, the time course of specific rotation. The blue dots are obtained from the solution starting from the alpha glucose, and the orange dots are starting from the beta glucose solution. They are approaching uh, equilibrating point 55 in uh, three hours. In this experiment, uh, 200 mil more glucose solution was measured four times on separate day. I performed the PLS regulation analysis with a specific rotation value using uh, both animals' data. The left panel is white feet, and the right panel is a regulation vector. 
this analytical regard, result is independent of change with time. For example, oxidation or evaporation, because alpha and the beta glucose change in opposite direction, opposite direction, are in the specific rotation. Therefore, uh, this regression vector uh, indicates a difference between the spectra of the glucose animal solution. It also suggests that absorbance at 1742 nanometer is important. Thus, I tried to uh, quantify the ratio of the glucose animal using the absorbance. I should hear the spectra after normalization and the collection uh, between a collation between uh, specific rotation and absorbance. Uh, it shows a, a high correlation value, uh, thus it is uh, confirmed that the absorbance at 7042 nanometer uh, reflects the glucose and mass structure. Then uh, let's move on analysis of the, the origin of the peaks. Uh, we have obtained the difference of the glucose animal spectra, but the origin of the, each peaks are still unknown. Based on conventional band assignment, as shown here, uh, we can only imagine which band uh, originated from glucose, C8, somehow. I try to identify each band origin from glucose animal solution. First, I used uh, heavy water as solvent to distinguish band originated from solute and the solvent. As you know, uh, molecular vibration depend on the molecular weight, so the band originated from solvent shift to longer wavelengths. Uh, it also allowed to see the glucose band without water band. Uh, using heavy water, I performed the same experiment as a light water. I should hear the different spectra of glucose anima in light water and heavy water at five minutes after dissolving. I confirmed that they have the same peak as the regression vector expected along the first overtone of light water. Uh, you can see the obvious difference along the first overtone of CH stretching region. Along the, along the here. Yeah, it suggests the spectra of this region contain water. Then I performed the Gaussian fit analysis on this region. In the upper panel, I show the result Gaussian fitting analysis of glucose anomaly, uh, different spectra in heavy water. It is fit with four Gaussian function. I show each center wavelength in light water. Uh, uh, in light water, the, the four glucose band also exist. And then keeping these four function, I also performed a Gaussian fitting analysis of the glucose animal difference spectral in light water. You can see the additional band at 1746 here. Uh, this result suggests that uh, the band at the 7046 nanometer originated from solvent water. But it is said that uh, determination of the number of Gaussian is difficult in Gaussian fitting analysis. Actually, uh, this spectra is also able to fit different four Gaussian. Therefore, I next try to confirm the validity of this model by band assignment using glucose isotope. Here, I use the four kinds of glucose isotope. You don't have to uh, remember them. <laughs> I'll show them here till the last slide. Uh, in glucose 1D1, uh, hydrogen in C1 carbon is replaced to deuterium. I call it D1 uh, uh, here after. Uh, glucose, that, glucose that has two dedium in the exocyclic is called 66D. And the glucose that has C1 carbon, C1 carbon is replaced to 13 carbon. Carbon 13 is C30. Uh, D7 is all of, all of 
the C1, uh, C8 is replaced to CD. I measured these four glucose isotopes of the same way as glucose in light water. Here I show the result of PLS regulation analysis of each isotopes. I couldn't get each animal of glucose isotopes, but the good point of this analysis is to obtain different spectra of the animal without pure animal powder. Uh, as a reference, I show here the alpha glucose result. Uh, these four, uh, they four showed a good linearity between the measured and uh, predicted specific rotation. Uh, although the results uh, in D7, D7 is, was a little bit worse, but uh, these results show near infrared spectra of glucose isotopes change with glucose to animal ratio. Next, uh, in order to detect isotopic band, I focused on spectral of equilibrated solution. At the equilibrating point, the ratio of the animal is seen in all of the solution. This, uh, the isotopic band can appear in the difference between glucose and glucose isotopes. I show here the subtracted spectral of each glucose isotopes. The positive peak are uh, isotopic band. The peaks highlighted by light orange are uh, originated from C82, and the peak with light blue are uh, originated from CH. The peak position is determined roughly because a uh, subtraction method can easily change peak position. It helped to assign band in Gaussian fitting model that I'll explain next slide. Let's go back to the PLS regression analysis. In the middle panel, I show the regression vector. You can see the regression vector slightly change in uh, each glucose isotope. Black line is the regression vector of glucose as a reference. The light panel on uh, the Gaussian fitting model, but band one and band two is lost in each model. The shapes are identical and the change of regulation vector in glucose isotope is uh, explained using the Gaussian fitting model that built in the previous analysis. Uh, this result suggests that band one is CH2 and band two is CH on C1 carbon respectively. And the, the, this Gaussian fitting model is varied uh, from uh, far to two third function at least. Yeah, in conclusion, uh, near infrared can detect the difference of the glucose animal structure, and it originated from not only CH on uh, C1 carbon, but also the exocyclic hydroxymethyl and solvent water. Thank you, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for an interesting lecture. And now we have time to have a discussion. Anyone have a question? I have a, a question. <laughs> Is it possible? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, thank yeah. you, Professor. Uh, thank you, Tanaka -sen uh, Sensei, for this wonderful talk. I had um, one um so i'm very glad to see that, that you're actually doing uh progress in two directions which are not typical for near, near effect first is um actually uh connecting polarization uh spectroscopy with the near infrared and the second one is exploring this um less explored region which is connected to sugar so uh i was wondering uh yesterday we, we saw for example uh, Justina Grabska uh, from Professor Hook's laboratory. She's doing uh, molecular um, quantum, quantum mechanical modeling of sugars in this region. So my first question is, uh, can you connect uh, your results, uh, for example, uh, with quantum mechanical modeling in order to uh, bring the two together? That's the first. And the second one, 
is uh, we found, for example, that we could predict some of the, the concentration of some of the uh, fatty acids of some structures using this region. And we connected that to the protons, to the proton uh, hydration. So I think when we connect this to polarization, uh, the optical rotation me measurements, that it all has uh, to do with charge. <laughs> so my second question is, uh, what would be your explanation why we can see this difference in orientation of, of the band uh, from this? Uh, okay. Okay. So the Thank first you. one, Sorry. yeah, yeah. First one, yeah. I want to try the yeah, simulation study, but uh, yeah, I have no way. So I have no uh, capability <laughs> to do like so that I, if uh, yeah, some audience uh, have the interest in my research, uh, please collaborate. <laughs> yeah. So that and uh, uh, so, but uh, some uh, research uh, on other researchers. Uh, so the uh, shoulder uh, glucose alpha and beta uh, is different uh, on the relationship with the uh, uh, water. So the uh, this uh, research showed the uh, alpha glucose on the alpha glucose, uh, the water uh, stable, more stable uh, than the beta glucose. And uh, the position, uh, they suggested the position is uh, uh, the, the oxygen uh, on the ring. Hmm. You know the, yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. carbon, mm -hmm. carbon, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I see from the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, uh, second one, second one, second question is about the uh, uh, polarimeter and uh, spectroscopies. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because of the interaction of polarized light, here we have a different, um, how can I say, um, quality of light. We have polarized light. Mm, I think uh, near, yeah, near infrared led lesion uh, don't affect the uh, polarization, I think. Uh, and uh, uh, why uh, my spectra uh, can uh, distinguish the structure of the alpha and the beta? So I think uh, the, uh, it uh, depends on the structure of water. Uh, uh, surrounding the uh, alpha glucose. So the, I think uh, beta glucose uh, don't show the peak around the uh, 7042 nanometer. So they are flat in the regression vector. That means that I think oh, alpha I glucose only uh, interact with water stably. Mm -hmm. but, but, but alpha glucose is not stable in water. I think very interesting on this. For the yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, functional, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, Tanaka, from his understanding. I'll put comment in the chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we have no. Now, uh, Professor Tang, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's try. 